Hello, I'm Amos Miller. I'm head of brass at the Royal Birmingham Conservatoire. We thought it would be a lovely thing to do to commission a brand new work to celebrate the cohort of our amazing students who are graduating in these unprecedented circumstances. Whilst we may not be together physically, we are still very much together musically and the students have approached this project with their usual fantastic combination of enthusiasm, virtuosity and open-heartedness and I couldn't be prouder of them. So without further ado, let me introduce the world premiere online of Ryan Linham's The Legend of the Lockdown Leavers. I think it's a terrific piece and I hope you really enjoy it. Can I start by welcoming everyone who has joined us for this virtual graduation? And in particular, of course, I want to welcome our graduating students, but also your friends, families and supporters and everyone who's been able to join us online. Welcome to, to my colleagues from Birmingham City University and in particular to the academic staff who've supported you during your studies. Graduation is always such a special occasion 
and it's something that many of you will have been dreaming about and I'm sure there have been points particularly in this last year when it felt a very long way away. What you've achieved is special and it's important and that's why normally we mark graduation with a great deal of pomp and ceremony why you come across the stage wearing the formal gowns and the caps which for centuries have recognised that important new status as graduates. And we'll make sure that you still have that moment. Once we're able to hold gatherings again, every single student graduating will be invited to an in-person ceremony to mark your achievement in the traditional way. But in the meantime, we didn't want to let the completion of your studies, the moment of your achievement, pass by without celebration and without fanfare. And so I'm really glad that you've been able to join us from wherever in the world you may be. Because one of the things that we've learned over the past challenging year is that these virtual events give us a unique opportunity to bring people together wherever they're physically located. And so whether you're watching this in your home in Birmingham or as far away as China or India or Nigeria or any one of the more than 100 different countries from which our student body is drawn, welcome. Welcome to this, your virtual degree celebration. Now, achieving any degree always calls for a lot of hard work and calls for resilience and determination. And if you look back at the journey that you've been on, if you ask yourself what you know now, what you are able to do now compared with what you were able to do at the start of your course, I'm sure you'll be astonished at how far you've come and how much you've learned. And what I want to recognise in this virtual ceremony is how much harder this has been in this last year. Reserves of determination and resilience and the ability to maintain your focus at a time that's inevitably been deeply testing for us all. Graduation is always special, but you will know what a special achievement your graduation this year has been. You're now BCU graduates, and we are immensely proud of you. We all look forward to the day when we can celebrate in person. The world around us is, of course, changing, and it's changing faster than any of us will ever have seen before. That was true before the pandemic, and the pandemic has only accelerated the magnitude of that change. And while the world is uncertain right now, graduates like you are going to continue to be in demand from employers. Because graduates are a natural choice now for employers. They want the skills that you've developed. They want the knowledge you've acquired. They want your ideas and your enthusiasm. And above all, they want your ability to deal with a changing world, responding to its challenges and seeking out the new opportunities. And even before the pandemic, I would have told you that the nature of work was changing and that most of you would have more than one career and that you would need to continue to learn and develop new skills and new understandings in order to move forward in your lives. And this is even truer now. Across the world, almost every country and every society will have been deeply disrupted by the pandemic. Its impact will be felt immediately and for years to come. But we believe that this is only going to make graduates more essential in every country, in every society. Because of your education, you've already started to develop the skills that will enable you to adapt and to respond. You'll be able to give back to society and to make a difference. When I wrote to you to invite you to this celebration, I said education has a special power to transform lives. And education's already had an impact on your lives, and it's now going to go on to make that difference to the lives of others. We see examples of this almost every week. And over the past 12 months, I have been so proud of our students and our staff across the university, working selflessly for the benefit of others, supporting the IT networks in our healthcare system, organising volunteer networks, using our facilities to make PPE to protect staff on the front line. And of course, 
I do want to pay particular tribute to our many, many students on nursing and other programmes for the health professions who went out into practice early in order to ensure that our health service could meet the demands that were being placed upon it. It's not something that we ever imagined we would need to ask of you, and you stepped up brilliantly. This is going to be a challenging time for societies around the world, and your skills and your knowledge are going to be at the heart of helping societies to recover and at the heart of building a better world for the future. Whatever you go on to do, we hope you will stay in touch with us so that we can continue to take pride in your achievements. The great strength of BCU, as you will know, is that it's a community. You, our students, told us that being part of BCU meant something. It meant pride, confidence, belonging. That's what sits behind the I am BCU strapline. And you're now part of our alumni body. You're part of BCU for life. So as you take your next steps, please remember that you're not alone. You have the staff who've supported you, some of whom you will hear from shortly. You have your family and of course you have the friends that you've made whilst at BCU. We have great pride in you and great confidence in what you will go on to achieve. And we would like to celebrate today your special achievement. So I hope you enjoy this celebration. It is for all of you. Thank you. Hello and welcome to your very special virtual graduation celebration. As Chancellor of Birmingham City University, things you never thought you'd hear yourself say, it is my great pleasure to welcome you to this celebration. It might look a little bit different to what you were imagining when you first stepped through the university doors all those years ago. Back then, Netflix and chill meant a hot date. Now it's official government health advice. But let's make one thing clear from the start. It does not change the magnitude of your achievement. In fact, given everything you've had to contend with over the past year, it's completely astounding. We are all in awe of you. We are. I would give you a standing ovation, but like everybody working from home, I haven't worn trousers since last Easter. But whether you're in your bedroom, your grandmother's kitchen, or sitting in the garden with your family dog, I want you to give yourself a great big cheer and raise the roof. You've done it. You've completed your degree. So don't be shy. Let your neighbours know about it. It's payback time for all those Amazon parcels they nicked off your front doorstep. In fact, never mind raise the roof. Let's shout it from the rooftops. You are a graduate after all. Ready? On three, BCU posse in full effect. One, two, three. Yes! Woohoo! Each and every one of you celebrating today has shown dedication and personal commitment to be here. You stand at the beginning of the next chapter of your lives. You're on the bottom rung of a ladder which will take you to exciting new careers and opportunities. You could even be prime minister one day, prime minister. Apparently the only qualifications are floppy hair and not knowing how many kids you've got. You're ready to make a positive difference to the world around you. You, my friends, are the class of 2021. The most chaotic, turbulent, shocking year since way back in 2020. No one will ever forget you. Just by being here, you've shown that you've got resilience, determination, a commitment to hard work, and most importantly, the ability to stealthily go on Tinder during a Zoom lecture, in it? And those things are going to stand you in such good stead as you embark on the next stage of your lives. Look at you all. You didn't think you'd get here. You didn't think you'd stay the distance. It seemed too hard, too overwhelming, too exhausting. And I was just doing those Joe Wicks YouTube workouts. But you did it and you're here, celebrating as all of your hard work has paid off. Well done you. It's an honor for me to be here with you, joining the celebrations as you mark the beginning of your professional lives. I'm looking forward to the time when I can see your happy smiling faces in front of me in a physical celebration, wearing those funny hats, 
and me in the big fancy black robes looking like a Harry Potter film directed by Spike Lee. But until we can do that, we're gonna have a great time today, aren't we? Behind the screen, just like we've all gotten so used to over the past few months. And I know that you might not have the official cap to wear just yet, but if you have a little look in your box of goodies that we sent out to you, there's something that will do the job for today. So go on, get out, get that out. It's a, it's a cardboard cap. You got it? Put it on. Don't be shy. There's nothing humiliating about wearing a cap, unless it's a red one that says Trump 2024. Now you've got to get a photo taken. That's right, because this is a very special day, regardless of where we physically are. You should all be so very proud of yourselves. You are graduates of Birmingham City University. Now, Normally, at this point in the ceremony, I would say something about whether you would imagine this moment when you started here. But as we've already established, unless you have psychic powers or something, the answer is probably a resounding no. The world around us is changing all the time. And during your final year, you've seen bigger changes than any of us could ever have imagined. We've seen the end of President Trump and the beginning of President Biden. That's right, America is replacing an old white guy accused of harassing women with well, it's a start. And not a moment too soon after his supporters stormed the Capitol building this week. I haven't seen that many angry white people since COVID scientists said you shouldn't kiss your pets on the mouth. Trump's legacy is so toxic, Disney are going to digitally replace him in Home Alone 2 with Kevin Spacey. <laughs> Even the new stuff is changing. Like the new COVID trains, that thing has more updates than Windows 10. And... Most importantly, you've changed too. Hopefully you've learned a lot and acquired some knowledge, some skills, and maybe even an idea of what you want to do with them. But you'll also have learned things about yourself. You might have changed your politics, beliefs, even your ambitions. Mine have gone from be a Marvel superhero to get a haircut. Although in both cases, you do get to wear a cape. University provides you with a place to meet people from all sorts of different backgrounds, a place where your existing beliefs and values can be challenged. It's a place where you find out the type of person you're going to be. And of course, it's a place where you'll build a strong and lasting friendship with some of those people from different backgrounds. Some of them will be your friends, some might be more than friends. Although if you figured out how to snog each other whilst maintaining a two meter distance, let's keep it to yourselves. Just think. In 20 years, you could be sitting with your friends talking about that strange day back in February 2021 when you all sat in front of a computer screen with a little paper hat on to celebrate the biggest achievement of your life to date. No one will ever take these things from you. Not the achievement and pride in what you've done, nor the sense of belonging you feel when you meet another BCU graduate. Because your BCU journey is not ending here. You're going to be part of a community of people who are all proud of your achievements, who all support one another and cheer each other on. The BCU community is very special indeed. I, Lenny Henry, am proud to be a part of the community and have spent a very happy and fulfilling five years as chancellor here. Things were very different back then. Boris was still a figure of fun rather than a beleaguered PM. Since he got the job, he spent so little time in bed, his hair started to look normal. And then last year, they gave me another title, Visiting Professor. This is a title which I'm equally proud to hold because it is linked to the work of the Seleni Henry Center for Media Diversity. We launched the center right at the beginning of lockdown, but I'm really pleased to say that its work has continued. We are conducting research with the ultimate aim of making sure all of society is represented across the media. This will ultimately help to support a fairer, more inclusive landscape where young people from all backgrounds have no limits placed on their dreams and ambitions. And we're starting to see that diversity at last. Is anybody watching Bridgerton on Netflix? A Regency story about a rich white girl falling in love with a cool black guy. It's basically Downton Abbey meets the Kardashians. Now, um, <clears throat> I became Chancellor of BCU because I believe passionately in education and the power of education to transform lives. Just before the pandemic, I officially opened a centre in King Standing that BCU is running with a charity called Inter University. 
The center is based in an area where few young people go into higher education and offers academic support and mentoring to promote the aspirations of the young people who live there. And the day we opened the center showed exactly why we need something like it. There were kids there as young as 10 or 11 who were dreaming big and had been encouraged to follow those dreams. I even met the most talented 13 year old juggler you'll ever see, who's determined to make it big in entertainment. I don't doubt that he will. After all, I've still got his business card. Schemes like this are vital because they help young people to overcome barriers or to put in their way, help them to achieve their potential and start to level the playing field for youngsters from disadvantaged backgrounds. They address the vicious circle which these young people find themselves in, showing them that higher education could be for them and developing skills to help them get there. Birmingham is a place full of opportunity but we need to keep working to ensure that young people from all backgrounds have access to these opportunities, regardless of which postcode they were born in or which school they went to. Mmm, Jamaican tea with a bit of rum in it. Now, being part of BCU means grabbing every opportunity that comes your way. But make sure you ask first. You're not the last US president or the next US president. You'll have had endless opportunities whilst you've been with us. Expert guidance and teaching from your tutors and lecturers, the input of industry experts, the addition of career related skills into every course and the chance to get to grips with how to apply your learning in the real world. Plus, you haven't had to waste time getting dressed for lectures. Now, take all of the skills you've developed and use them to help you flourish. Get out there and make the world a better place. Let's face it. Right now, the bar is so low, it might as well be a Weatherspoons for little people. Don't forget the wealth of resources we have here to help you as you step out into the labor market, whether that's careers advice as you start your job hunt or support for those with a more entrepreneurial mindset. You have access to these resources as a member of the BCU community, so use them wisely. This community is made up of people from all walks of life, each with their own story to tell. This is the latest chapter in your story, and you will now go on to write the next one as you embrace the opportunities which come your way. And no matter what obstacles you encounter on the road or head, no matter how difficult and scary it might seem, just remember, it cannot be as bad as being stuck in the house with your family. Congratulations, enjoy your day, and look forward to seeing you in real life very, very soon. My name is Selene Henry. I'm so sorry for the banging about upstairs. I love you. Be cool. Be happy. Put your, put your cardboard hat on. I'm going to put this on. And give one more cheer. Hooray! Hello, my name is Professor Alison Honor, and I'm extremely fortunate to be the Pro Vice Chancellor and Executive Dean of the Faculty of Arts, Design and Media at Birmingham City University. I want to congratulate each and every one of you for your incredible achievements during your studies at BCU, and in particular during what has been an unprecedented and most challenging time during the past year. This has meant a very different student experience for many of you, which we could never have imagined or prepared for, and has meant that universities, schools of arts and design and conservatoires all over the world have not been able to hold the traditional final year shows, recitals or performances that they usually would. But for many of our students and staff, the devastation of COVID has been far greater, with the loss of loved ones with particular impact seen across communities and both within and beyond Birmingham City. However, somehow and despite this adversity, you have risen and shown your resilience, adaptability and outstanding creativity. I've witnessed your outstanding talents through digital end of year showcases, films, videos, and virtual performances, all produced from within the domestic spaces of your homes, whether this has been your bedroom, garden, or kitchen table. The poignancy and emotional investment in this work has been utterly brilliant and moving, and will I'm sure be unforgettable for both myself and all those that have experienced it. Thank you to all of you, our students, for being so extraordinary during this time. This work will also mark a period in our creative history when arts and culture 
plays such a valuable and important role in maintaining our connectedness, mental health and well-being during periods of extreme isolation. I also want to thank all the academic, technical and professional services staff who have worked so tirelessly to try and provide the very best teaching and support they could for all our students this year. Their flexibility, dedication and adaptability to adapt to change so quickly whilst also managing family and childcare responsibilities at home has been key in being able to ensure our students were not disadvantaged and could complete their studies. I couldn't be more proud of our staff in both our efforts to support students, but also our communities through the making of PPE, volunteering and fundraising for the most in need. Finally, I want to make sure that you all know that we are here to support you in continuing to help to provide graduate career and employment support and opportunities in the creative industries at what we know will be a challenging time. But Birmingham City has as a city has so much to offer you. And with one of its fastest growing industries being both digital and creative, we know there'll be many opportunities for you. We and many others are both fully committed to and confident that our creative graduates will be a key catalyst to both societal and economic recovery post COVID. And you will all have an important and sustained role in this. Congratulations again on your extraordinary achievements and very well done. Hi, I'm Nathan Tromans and I'm the head of Birmingham Institute of Creative Arts, which brings together the School of Visual Communication, School of Art and the School of Games, Film and Animation under one unifying umbrella. This may not mean a great deal to you as this is a very new development and builds on the collective success of our schools and recognises we also need to respond to change. Interdisciplinary practice and collaboration across different sorts of creative subjects very much reflects what is happening in the creative industries and it's what you have all had an opportunity to explore on your course. We believe it is an important and significant moment in our story and therefore your story too. You, our students, are the life of our schools. My excitement and admiration for you does not change year on year. I have been connected with the university for over 30 years, as I too was a student here from 1989 to 1991. You see, our industries have always been in a constant state of flux, and we aim to make sure that our courses all reflect this. So all of you during your time with us will have seen some of these changes and developments. Your professional futures will depend on your ability to think creatively, to overcome challenges, to surprise, to delight and to innovate. As graduates today, you have all shown this to us and the world we are all living in now will only need more of that. It is this idea which is at the heart of all of our courses and you all articulate and interpret this through your own unique and individual creative practice. That's what you have achieved. I know that both individually and collectively, you have achieved great things. Many of you have made even better work than you made previously, which is absolutely remarkable considering what we've been through over the last few months. You should also be very proud of your achievements. I have been profoundly impressed by the work I've seen and the attitude demonstrated. This sort of imagination is just what is needed to achieve, to develop, and to maintain a career in the creative industries or any industry for that matter. It's been our job to create the right conditions for your creative development, for you to be transformed in order that you might transform others in your community, in the workplace, nationally and internationally. We have students graduating today from many countries and I hope all of you will leave us having been transformed into what you are now informed, creative practitioners and graduates. Although we're celebrating the end of a chapter, of course, we're still here for you. You're not on your own. Be brave, be resourceful, be resilient, be imaginative and be creative, but don't be strangers. Please stay in touch. Well done and many congratulations.
congratulations uh, amazing graduates of 2020 what a year to graduate oh my goodness i can't believe that you guys what you've done this year what you've achieved the resilience that you've shown against these massive challenges so on behalf of myself as course director and the wonderful team that you can see behind me in the photo um we just want to say that you are awesome you have been fantastic and you have achieved like beyond our wildest dreams you've coped so well with this so congratulations all of you it's been a great year to teach we've had lots of fun please stay in touch and on behalf of the entire design for performance staff team many congratulations well done firstly i would like to congratulate you all on the graduation and say a huge well done on the marks that you have achieved it's been wonderful working with you the last three years and I hope you feel that you have all the credentials necessary for life beyond university. Good luck to you all, good health, peace, love and fraternity. Thank you. Our students are clearly motivated, ambitious, independent and resourceful. Qualities that will help them overcome the challenges of a post-lockdown landscape. All of you have been a pleasure and inspiration to work with. In closing, I'd like to wish you all the very best for the future. Congratulations, and once again, well done. Congratulations, you've done so well in completing your course under some very challenging circumstances. This should give you confidence moving forward into your future careers, and I just want to wish you all the best. Stay in contact, and good luck. We are so proud of what you've done in such an amazing way over the last year, especially in this lockdown periods that we've had. We are, and I'm sure all staff will say this, really, really proud of what you've managed to do. Just like to thank you very much. Well done. I want to say congratulations on your graduation today. You've all done so well over the last year. Despite the circumstances, you adapted, you were focused, determined, and very professional throughout. Congratulations everyone on Video Game Digital Art for graduating and achieving your degree this year. I wish you all the very best for the future. I think we had some of the best games that have ever been made this year uh, from this year's cohort. Despite all the challenges, everybody uh, stepped up to that challenge and really knocked it out of the park. So uh, hopefully you'll, you know, you feel really well prepared for the, uh, uh, your new life in game development and good luck to all of you. Thank you, Huge congratulations to the BA Film Business and Promotion graduates, um, first graduates through this new undergraduate course. So very proud of you all. Um, so I'm sending you my virtual hugs and congratulations. Really well done to all the feature film development students. Um, I love your work. Um, I look forward to seeing it on the big screen or the small screen. Um, and hopefully working with some of you in the future. Well done to one and all of you. Congratulations, future media masters students. You did it, you cracked it. You are the class of 2020. Outstanding performance. It's been a journey, guys. Well done. Remember, you get that where you put in. It is for you. Well done everyone, we're so, so proud of you. You put in some excellent work through your course and we're so proud of you. And good luck for the future. We're sure you're going to get up to some amazing things and we can't wait to hear about them. There were some superb projects this year and I know you're all gonna go on to do great things in marketing and we just look forward to it, so keep in touch. Yeah, well done, Thank you. Hi everyone, class of 2020, I just want to congratulate you. You've finished your degree. You should be feeling super proud of yourselves. I'm not going to say goodbye to you because you've got three years worth of access back to me, Tracy Allenson Smith. I can help you with your career. Um, also stay in touch with Careers Plus, get in touch with me and uh, it's not goodbye. <laughs> it's just the beginning, but well done. Super proud of you. Well done class of 2020. In the most difficult of times, you have pushed forward and succeeded in your undergraduate studies. Your yoga group is strong. You have faced the unthinkable and have found ways to use your imagination and creativity as a tool for positive change. You've walked a path that others have dared not to travel. And you've developed new skills that the world has never considered before. You are the new pioneers of our post-pandemic world. 
the thought leaders of tomorrow and our greatest ambassadors. We will follow you and are behind you always in moving forwards. Good luck. Amy Louise Curran Jijun He Nan Wei Zichun Yu Jinjia Jong Wen Xuanzhu. I'd like to thank my parents, my friends, for all the people I know who've been supporting me. It was the hardest year, but we made it. Dotty Lu Abner. Jessica Allington. Haley Ash. Helen Flaherty Catherine May Gilbert Larissa Eliza Shaw Rebecca Megan Sherry Smith Nichiman Amatiakul Thanks my family, my friends, my teacher Beth, and thanks 2020. Nadia Natalie Atwell. Autumn Francis Susanna Bins. Congratulations to you all. Hannah Coout. Rui Gang Lee. Ohimba Mensabornsu Cheng Fan Wenny Ma Danden Shu Swixin Jong Gloria Apanavishid Jacka Regan Nicole Louise Roberts Nita Schlein Tomasz Zontek Mayara Del Bem Guarino Michael Jonathan Evans Frank Kennington Oyushi Ponde Thoro Kunal Shah Samuel James Sprague Oki Tamoka Murong Wang Tianai Wang Zoe Aitken Tiber Akhtar Hilary Jane Baker Rupinder Dillon Yuhan Han 
Hanlinshire. Jessica Helen Skidmore. Yi Wu. Patarakaman Anachachawan. Morgan Vanessa Florian Bommy. Calvin Ming Yi Jong. Blanca Miguel Casanovas. Shamela Nelson. Rolica Maria Polladini. Arslan Sucky. Stephanie Tinica. Ayrton Milner. Keenan Wallace. ABCU, just want to thank you for the opportunity to study at your uni, my friends and family for your support along the way, and God be the glory for getting me this far. Thank you. Gabriella Rebecca Wouts. Rolla Koyoana Farkas. Yilin Hu. Ziji Lin. Kamaljit Panesar. Jamal Komis Mohammed Yehia. Junwei Zhao. Sajan Singh Lohia. Sarah Isabel Wagstaff. William David Chapman. Thank you to my professors for always getting the best out of me, to my family for supporting me through university, and most of all to my fiance for pushing me to pursue my masters in the first place. I love you, Sadie. Dines Kominskis. Richard Andrew Hobbis. Neil Agba. Levlin Noana Ando. Paulette Bond. Ellis Dillian. Rafina Graham. Anup Gurung. Natalie Hart. Fozana Khan. Melissa Kakam. Ibtihal Masmudi. Cameron Powell. Rumal Narkib Rahman. Amber Skip. Ashley Woodhall. Catherine Harper. Pierce James Harper. Artie Reed. Finley Davison. Craig Turner. Andrea Sean Chien Coke. Gosha Khan. Zishuan Yang. Thank you to 
my university and my tutors David and Michael. Thank you to my parents. I love your mom, I love your dad, and Vinny. I'm graduated. Woo! Holly Brown. Eleanor Louise Davies. Jara Millet. Amber Mills. Ella Morgan. Harriet Armstrong. Tiana Davies. Cameron Johnson. Daniel Williamson. Aziz Ali. Isabella Amor Bayongan Bahan. Nathan Burton. Manuel Anosio do Amaral Martins. Shuwei Lin. <laughs>